Are you ready to take the ultimate loader tractor challenge? We're here with the 5600 series and coming soon the 5700 series SL going to show you why this is the ultimate loader tractor. One of the reasons is the steep slope hood get, provides excellent visibility for loader work. Got the 941 loader here with the Euro ISO quick attach system. We're going to show you how simple and easy it is to change implements. And we're going to show you why you should come visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer and take a challenge and see why there is a difference with Massey Ferguson in this mid range Welcome into loader the tractor. 5600 series. This is a classic version with a mechanical joystick. The deluxe version does have the ability to have an electronic controlled joystick. Both of them have the same functions. You can control increase, decrease, and in ground speeds, which is going to be your power shifts. This button is going to be directional change, can be programmed into here. H3 and H4 can be for third and fourth options functions of your loader and on the back there is a neutral trigger that you can push in and it'll declutch. Uh, you have a forward reverse shuttle, you have your range change and gear change down here. This transmission, the Dyna 4, only need the clutch to start it up. Start it up. We can do all of our speed changes with our we can power shift up and down through here. It's a three function shuttle. We can change directions and we can declutch by raising it. That is a very nice feature for Massey Ferguson that a lot of the competition omits from their tractor. Is this, function, this shuttle allows you to do more with your left hand reverser. Have your hand on the joystick, hand on the reverser, and you've got total control of your tractor. going to raise it up. One of the first things you'll see is the excellent visibility down the side over the hood of your total loader system. Take the brake off. You can have preset speeds. We can increase, decrease speeds here. We're just going to drop over here and we'll drop off the bucket and we'll show you how simple and easy it is, we're downshifting. First thing we're going to do is lower our bucket. We'll have to get out and we're going to show you how easy it is to snap. All you have to do to disconnect is pull this lever, put it in the lock position. It removes these pins. If you look right down there, See that pin? That pulls the pin out of the way. Get our seat belt hooked up. Tilt down. All you need to do is lower the loader and back out of the implement tool carrier. Now one of the things you can look out here is you'll want to do is you'll want to take the tool carrier and roll it all the way forward. We're just going to speed up our loader by hitting our combining valve. We've got 26 gallon per minute. And you see how much faster the loader is. Roll your tool carrier all the way down. And when you come to the implement, I'm going to show you a simple, easy way to attach the implement. We're hooking up to an original equipment bale spear. In tight quarters, this shuttle makes it great because we can shuttle forward and reverse. We can change the aggressiveness too in our dash control center of how fast that, that shuttle increases. Now if you look down, you will see that back of that tool carrier is painted orange. We can watch it right down the side here. We 
We got both hooks in the orange. Whoop. We got both hooks in the orange. We just roll it back and you'll watch those pins snap in place. It's on, just take it down. Test it by pushing down on it. It's not moving. Now what we want to do in the ultimate loader challenge is how easy it is to pick up items. A bale would be very simple to see. But we're going to pull up here. What you do is push the clutch, push and hold. You'll hear the beep. Now we've got forward direction and back direction. We want to go forward. Now we've got total control with our joystick. What we're going to do. If you can see out here in front, the lower the loader, we have a bucket of Agco Frobertran oil. We have a bale spear there, and we're going to pick it up with the spear and show you how simple and easy the ultimate loader tractor is to see what okay, you're doing. Okay, we've got a good bird's eye view. You're basically seeing the same thing I am. With the sloped hood, you got great visibility. We're going to enable the forward reverse shuttle. Go backwards. We're going forwards. You can see we can adjust the loader up and down and see exactly what we're doing. We're going to come in, pick up the bucket. And now what we're going to do is we've got another circle if you look here. Just like this one. Increasing our power shifts. We drew the same yellow circle over here by where we laid the loader bucket. We're going to go place this bucket in that same three foot diameter circle with a five gallon bucket. Give me a break. I'm not an expert everyday tractor driver like you all are. I'm just a dealer salesman dude. trying to show you a little difference out here. Now what I can do is I can hit as I get to the circle I can hit my neutral trigger on the joystick, lower the bucket down, oh, you can go forward a little bit, and we're going to back out. Let's see how well I did. Looks like I got it in. Now I'm going to give you one other.
And this was an empty bucket, no flood. Come check us out at Varnberg Implement and learn more about this awesome 5600 series and the new 5700 series coming SL with the same steep nose hood. It's going to make your loader work much easier.